Doctor Who, The Crusade, Episode 3, The Wheel of Fortune, Lydia Passageway. A man gestures Barbara to keep quiet and moves her behind him. Our acres men go past. He knocks the second one, then the first one. He returns. Haru, you. Two heads about the brains of one. Barbara, thank you for helping me. Who are you? Haru, I am Hilarin Dudin. Barbara, I'm Barbara. Hilarin We have a common enemy in our acre. He makes for own common friendship. Come with me. Barbara, where? Haru, Haru. To a place of safety, come. Richard's palace, robing room. The doctor's being suitably attired. Vicky, oh, you look marvellous to hear. Marvellous indeed, my lord. The birds will envy you. The multicoloured fish from deeps are to put to shame. Doctor, all right, all right. Don't get so carried away, my friend. It's a fine cloak. You've done a very good job to hear him. My lord is most gracious, doctor. Now the next question is, what could you do? For my boy, I want something of finer quality. To hear, looks like like yours, my lord. I can provide all the quality you need. Jewelled tunics for fire collars, ruby studded belts, quilted sleeves, lace leather boots. Doctor, quite so, quite so. So thank you. Thank you. Now run away and have a good think about um, have a good think about it. And let me know in the morning what you've decided. You hear, I will, my lord. When the sun rises, I shall be here to transform the boy to a veritable strutting peacock. Then perhaps my lord will recommend the name of the bender here to the king. He slams and leaves. Vicky, who's your friend? Joanna comes down the stairs and stands in the doorway. Vicky, anyway, why have I got to go on pretending I to be a boy? Why can't I be a girl again? Doctor, I'm sorry, my dear, but you know how we placed we're placed here? It is, uh, um, Joanna, why have you deceived us, Doctor? Oh, forgive me, Your Highness. This is my young ward, having found us as a hostile country. I decided to use this disguise, Joanna. But you're not hostile? We're not hostile? The open country, yes. Within the vulnerable reach of merciless Savan. Yes, but we're here in Jaffa. Vicky, please don't be angry with him. He did not want did what he thought was best for me. Joanna, a pretty advocate. Well, I won't be your de- partner to this deception. And while you're here, you'll be in my company and be given my protection. Doctor, we are indeed grateful, Your Highness. Jo- Joanna, I saw the chamberlain in the corridor. Bring him to me. Vicky leaves, Joanna. You say you're grateful? I cannot command that what I ask you to for now, nor will I. I am in the same quandary. Doctor, can I help you, madam? Joanna, is it I am my brother's favourite? Yet, now I find him, I am excluded from his confidence. I sense he's made a plan of which I am not part. Doctor, may I ask why of all the people here you come to me? Hmm? Joanna, is something new in you, yet something older than the sky itself. I sense I can trust you. Doctor, if there is a plan, my lady, I'll find out what it is and keep close in touch. Hmm? Joanna, I am, then I am satisfied. Vicky and Chamberlain enter. We see he is similar to, in appearance to the Doctor. Jo- Joanna, ah, oh, good Chamberlain, Chamberlain, Your Highness. Joanna, bid your servants go about town and find nimble hands dressed as a child, good weaving, well spun cloth. The dresses shall be made of silk and satins of creed stuff. Chamberlain dresses silk, satins for the boy? I thought there was some amusement, your. I thought there was some amusement, your highness. Joanna, did you? Chamberlain? Joanna leaves. Vic Chamberlain, I don't understand. Vicky, it's pretty, very simple. I'm a girl. Chamberlain, a girl dressed as a boy. Nothing understandable these days. The dresses, silk satins. Where's the money to come from? Doctor, the household pass. Hmm? Chamberlain leaves. Vicky, thank goodness for that. I didn't really see myself as a variable, viable strutting peacock. Doctor, well, my dear, in one way I don't think things have turned out too badly after all, huh? Vicky, how do you mean in one way? Doctor, 
You ought to be very much safer under Joanna's wing. Vicky, I see. I will still see you, won't I? Doctor, of course, my child. Dot Vacky. I mean, Joanna, Barbara's gone off. And then Ian. To Barbara. Doctor, only temporary. Vicky, you wouldn't go off and leave me, would you? Doctor, what a question. Vicky, I meant your ship's the only home I've got now. I can't bear it. Doctor, oh, no, now, now. That's what's all it. What is all this, huh? Hmm? Thinking well, when you said a good thing in one way, I thought, well, I thought you meant that I was some sort of problem or something. But, oh, surely you know me better than that, child. Your reservation has what I might get entangled in court intrigue. You're going to be very, very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. Hallian's house, Hallian. Sophia, 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 father. I've been so frightened here, yeah. Hallia. You, Halaku. My poor house is yours, Barbara. This is my daughter, Sophia. Treat her as you would your closest cousin, child. Now you see, to some food. Sophia leaves and Harunian checks the window. Harunian. The soldiers are aware of Kia. Well, the searchers in the street. You must wait here until quiet my time. Barbara, I don't want to endanger you. Halakuin. I am in danger, constant danger. I have sworn to kill Amir. Baba El Kilare El El Kira El Karukrin Rin. Yes, that vile and evil man. Last year, my house was a fine, happy place. A gentle wife, a son, who honoured and obeyed me. Two daughters adored whatever place they visited. But El Kira me came to Lidia. Opposed his will, he desired my eldest daughter, Amimima, but I refused him. Baba, so he took her. How do you know? Yes, when Safi and I were away, he came and burnt my house. My wife and son were put to the sword. Barbara, then why do you stay, Lydia? Eloquin, I live for one thing alone, the death of Alkira. Now I go out to sea, the way is clear for your escape. Barbara, no, please, I must feel, I just feel like I'm making things worse for you. How are you, how are you, Eloquin? Rest here, I'm not going, I shall not be long. Danger threatens Sevilla. Will hide you, but the soldiers. But if the soldiers persist in their search, you think that it, they will find you? Take this and use it. Baba, kill her? Eloquin, yes, and afterwards, my set yourself. Baba, no, Eloquin, you must. Baba, no life is better than this. Eloquin, you do not know Eloquin. Baba, I couldn't do it. I, Eloquin. You will not let them take Sophia? Barbara, no, of course I won't. Halloquin, you leave, then leave, I'll leave you the knife. Halloquin leaves, Sophia returns, and Barbara hides the knife. Sophia, where's my father gone? Barbara, oh, he went outside to see if the soldiers had gone. Sophia, quite more likely to ask more questions of our neighbours. Barbara, questions? I don't understand, Sophia. My mother, my brother, my sister, my mother. Disappeared last year. My father searches everywhere for them. We live in hope they will return one day. Baba, and you don't know where they are? Sophia, no, it's a strange mystery. They've gone away. We simply wait for their return. It's a will of Allah. You will eat my father's knife? Baba, oh yes, he just left it behind. Sophia, how strange he never goes about it. Lydia, passageway, at one of the Okaya's men, Fantasia. Who cannot defend himself and ends up on the ground. Warrior, who are you? How, who have you got there? God, I don't know, my lord. He is going to slay me. Warrior, I cannot see that. I I seem to know that face. God, you cannot, my lord. He's a poor man in town. He lives in the quarter. Warrior, have you searched there? Which guard a little, my lord, a den of thieves and beggars, not wise to venture in such a place of squalor. Warrior, the runaway can find a host of allies in Northern Quarter, each individual desperate as herself. Take that man you need, what men you need, and find her. Dr. Richard's friend with Richard. And then saying, so is returned, we trust we will bring your lady, as Sir William does Pooks. In addition to the answers of several letters we have written, Lester, tell me of your plan, sire. A new demand has settled in, a battle plan, a victory like Zaphodath. We should know, not this time. Oh, my lord of Lester. No, we have another thought. 
We had another thought to give our sister's hand in marriage to Safifidin, brother the Sultan, and so make us make an end to this war. Doctor, I do I indeed glad, sir, to know that what you're thinking in terms of peace. Lester and the Princess to marry Safifidin, my lord, I beg you to explain. Richard, we do not feel obliged to explain anything to anyone, my lord of Lester. We think our words are plain enough. Doctor is a good scheme, sire, if the princess agrees. Richard, Joanna knows nothing of this matter. Doctor, will she agree? Richard, you know, should rather ask her how, you should rather ask, how can she refuse to stain the blood, bind up the wounds and give a host of men lives and futures? Or how there's a marriage, now there's a marriage contract to put sacrifice to shame and make a saint of any woman. Lester, sire, with all the strength of my command, I urge you, sire, to abandon this pretense of peace. Doctor presents, sir, it is an opportunity to save the lives of many men. Are you let go not that you do not but turn it down without any kind of thought? What do you think you're doing, Lester? I speak as a soldier. Why are we here in this foreign land if we do not fight? A devil's hold, Sekrigin, Sekrigin, and a Turk was this Jerusalem. We are not rested from them with honeymoon, honeyed words. Doctor, with words, I swords, I suppose. There's an eye with swords and lances over the axe. Doctor, you stupid butcher. Can you think of nothing else but killing them? Lester, your man will talk. I can see that. You like a table and a ring of men, a parley here and arrangements there. But you, when you, your men are eloquent and stunned each other in your words, we are the soldiers had to face its fallout. I have half a, I was, on some half started morning, while our speakers lie up ahead, armies settle everything, giving sweat, cigarette bodies, eye, and our life itself, Doctor. I am I a bravery and slurity, sir. You are both for those, but unfortunately, you haven't any brain at all. I hate fools, lest a fool can match a coward at any day. Richard, enough of this. You dare to flourish arms before the king? Know this, my lord of Leicester, you will not be advised. We have decided a pact with Senadin. If it fails, then the trial of the arms. But we have set our mind and heart upon this marriage. We shall, it shall go forward. Safafinadin. Why do you smile, brother? It is a trap, Safafinadin. No, the English writers. See us. The king is key Right, sincerely, it is not a, it is so godless, we can only be, only be genuine, so fitted in. Think goodness about, think serious about it, alliance with Joanna, and give me title to each land, power over far off countries, a glittering empire, brother, so fitted in. I did not know you were so ambitious, so fitted in. Saladin, I did not know you were so ambitious. Saladin. I, Sir Hefidin, I will be the, the name, yours will be the no voice. Sir Hefidin, eh? Uh? Sir Hefidin, of course, Sir Hefidin. Of course, do not look so troubled. I honour you and this, let this proposition go ahead. But listen to me well, strategy is worth a hundred lances. Think, brother, how does this proposed marriage help us win our future battles? Sir Hefidin. You do not mean to think of us alliance seriously? Sephardin, if you will marry with, with his, his sister of the English king, then I do, and so, and I will help you to, to do it. Go write a letter, say that I do as it pleases, both of us. Sephardin, but yet you don't it, Sephardin. Have England, France, and all the rest come here to cheer a man, a woman, a love match? No, this is the last appeal of peace. Or weary men, so write your letter and alert the armies. Then one on an either day, on either day, the day of, of blissful union, or the day of, of battle, we will be prepared, Sephardin. You are wise, I wrong to doubt you, Sephardin. Hold out your hand in friendship, but to keep the other to, on your sword, Sephardin. Ignite, sir, Ian of Jaffra, who brought a plea for Reza, Sir William. So then, Sir William, I cannot return, but yet, but write this if he's well, caref- he's well careful. As for the other, Sir Ian, 
he begged to be allowed in search to be allowed to search for the lady Barbara, who raved deserves it their favours. So Barbara, write your letter. This is here so this sincerity deserves our honest dealings. But caution, yes, caution, insists that all my armies are ready. How to do his house, thick woman, you pig's man. Watch your tongue, woman, or we are. Um, Barbara, are getting nearer. Where's your hiding place, man? Toy, bring torches, woman. Leave me alone, man. Come here. What Barbara, Sephiroth, go to the secret room. Sephiroth does his outlook for Coria's knife and goes back. Woman, Barbara, let, let me go. Are you dogs, you pigs, Sephiroth, in case we have to defend ourselves? Man, what is what? It, what in the house? I got the. Uh, I'll get the others. Her stand down here, woman. No, get away, the woman. Where it is the house? It looks around, woman, man. In the name of Alkira, open the door, man. Open up, open up, or we're burning this place down, woman. Oh, uh, who are you? A second god enters the house. Where are nothing in here? Nothing out there. The kitchen. The god takes some of the bread cooking on the pan. Warrior, anything? God, too. No. Warrior, wait. He picks up a small bowl, still warm, no other window. Only one door. Look on the roo- rooftop. The guard leaves. Sephia. They have, they have found, they find, they have, will find us, poor father. Warrior, nothing. God, too. No, nothing. Warrior, somebody, someone must be here, somewhere. Search every corner. No, wait. I have a better plan. Bring a torch. We'll smoke the cigarette out. Or watch a burning funeral. Dabro, here come. Here, cover yourself with blanket and stay huddled in the corner. Sophia, why? Barbara, never mind. Just do as you're told. We'll think, take this. Barbara gives Sophia the knife and leaves the hiding place. Woman, well, man, let's get down here. Woman, let me go, you dogs, pigs. The warrior has his back to the what? Barbara, man. Come on, let's try over that house. Man, too. Hassan, come here. Woman. Man, get the orders. Woman, no. Get away. Man, in the name of El Akira, open the door. Man, too, get yourselves down here. Hello. Barbara is caught up by the guard who has been on the roof. Woman, what warrior? Where did you come, where did you come from, Barbara? So you look in the shadows. Barbara, what warrior? Who hid you in this place? Dot Barbara, no one. Or oh, what does it mean? You tell me? That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Where? When you were in more, your aunt knees below my... When you were on your knees before my master, your defiance would change, your screams for the polite pity. Desert. He is sleeping with a, when a bandit comes out of steel from him. He gets his sword, being wakes. When he reaches for the purse, there's a struggle. But then someone hits in over the head. Bam! Thank you, my brother. Richard's friend room. Vicky is presented as a noble lady. Joanna, sweet child. I, you look so innocent. I have nothing but love for you. Vicky, you've been very kind to me. Doctor, we are both very grateful to you, Her Highness. Joanna, you think you shall stay by my side and be my close companion. My name is not, not Victor now. Vicky, I know it, it is Vicky, really. Joanna, oh, I don't know. I, oh, I didn't know it. Is a vision, eh? Well, it doesn't matter. The eyes should have contentment for a test. Do you feel okay, my lord? Lester, is it she not beautiful? Lester, indeed, madam. A fair rose of England in, the fair, in this foreign land. Joanna, do you have news for me? Doctor, I'm afraid not, your highness, Joanna. What, but you, well, what, with my father, brother, did he tell you anything of his plans? Doctor, he said he wished to speak to you himself. Joanna, I thought he had friendship. Joanna, I thought I had your friendship, Doctor. You have my have, Your Highness. But the King spoke to me in confidence. I do not I must not steal his thunder. Hmm? Joanna leaves the Doctor and Vicky Vic, d- Doctor. I thought something like this would happen, child. Vicky, can't you tell her? Doctor, what that she's going to get married? No, of course not. Vicky, but you can't drop her hint or something? She's furious. She can't afford to make an enemy of her. Doctor, there's no desire to upset the king. 
Dear, dear, all this intrigue. I knew it. All this trouble. Here comes the king. Richard enters. Jonah, I would like to speak to, with my brother. Jo- Richard who? Oh, Joanna. Can this... What is this I hear? I don't believe it's true. Marriage, henchman, man. Infidel. Richard, we shall give you a reason for it. Joanna, the insult consulted partner. No wish to marry. I am sucked the floor to be given in a strange Richard is an evident a decision was been made Joanna not for me it never could be Richard Joanna please consider the war is full of worry good men this marriage went once a little thought for you after all when you see the right end of it Joanna but now would you have me go to Sardines, bathed in golf for a rental perfume, I suppose. Supplant, tender, and were fashionate, soft eyed and trembling, eager with a sight, famous words of compliment and love. Will you, while well, I'll make like a different way to meet a man I learn to wed? Richard, well, it's a meeting we want. Rick, Joanna, I don't, I don't want. Vicky, can't you tell her? Doctor, that she's going to get married? Of course not, Vicky. But you can't, can't you drop a hint of something? She's furious. You can't afford to make an enemy of her. Doctor, I had no desire to accept the king. Dear, 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 all this intrigue, I knew it. All this trouble. Here comes the king, Richard enters. Jonah, I sh- would sh- sh- speak with my brother. Richard, oh, that's, what's this I hear? Joanna, what's this I hear? I can't believe it's true. Marriage to the wealthy young man, that, that infidel. Richard, we will give you reason for it. Joanna, the unconsulted partner, has to marry, with no wish to marry. I know a sack of flour to be given him a strange. Richard, is expecting that decision has been made. Joanna, not by me, and never would be. Richard, Joanna, please consider. Law is full of dreary, weary, unwearied men. His marriage wants a little thought by you. And that's all but you see the right of it. Joanna, now would you have me go to San Bin bathed in oriental perfume? I suppose supplement tender and affectionate, self eyed and trembling eager with a thousand words of compliment and love. Well, I like a different way to meet the man I went to wed. Richard, well, it's a meeting you want. Joanna, I don't want, I don't want, I don't, will have, not have to. Richard, Joanna, Richard's throne room, bourbon room. Richard, Joanna, to the trembling. Get out, get out, Joanna. I beg you to accept. Joanna, no. Richard, I treat, I treat you, Joanna. Rich, Joanna, no. Richard, very well, I'm the king. We command you. Joanna, you cannot command them. You cannot command this of me. Richard, cannot. Joanna, no. There is a bright of higher for yours, of which I answer. Jo- Richard, I am king. Where is this? There is any man who has greater power above his subjects, Joanna. In Rome, his holiness, the Pope, will not allow this marriage in mine, or mine, infidel. Richard, oh, but Joanna, Richard's throne room. Richard, you defy me with the Pope? Joanna, no, you defy the world with your politics. The reason you and all your enemies are here is a reason on my side. You're here to fight these dogs, defend them, marry me to them. And you make a pact with the devil, force me to, to do it, to it, and I turn the world we know into your enemy. Richard nearly hits her, and Joanna walks out with her head held high. Richard, who gave away my plan, Doctor, Your Majesty? It, if I believe that, that I. Richard, you're not welcome on our sight. Alkira is chambering. Barbara dragged us alongside the corridor by the guards, dumped on the floor in front of Akia. Barbara, let go of me. Akia, the only pleasure left for me you is death, and death is very far away.